<clears throat> Last week, the Senate Democratic leader brought an end to the additional federal benefit for unemployed workers. Republicans tried multiple times to extend the money, including at the same dollar level that our colleague himself said he wanted. The Democratic leader blocked it all. This is the dynamic on the Democratic side that killed the subject of police reform back in June. And it has now jeopardized more coronavirus relief as well. Democratic leaders insist publicly they want an outcome. <coughs> but they work alone behind closed doors to ensure a bipartisan agreement is actually not reached. We're about a week into the speakers and the Democratic leaders' discussions with the administration. A week into the Democratic leadership, cutting out all their members, all of them, cutting out all of their committees, and saying that only they can participate. So how's it going? Well, the Democratic leader is still refusing to let struggling Americans get another dime unless he gets a massive tax cut for wealthy people in blue states that has nothing to do with the coronavirus. I'm not kidding. This is his position. Nothing for schools, nothing for kids, nothing for the PPP, nothing for the health care fight. Nobody gets a dime unless the Democratic leader gets a massive tax cut for rich people in New York and California. That's what he's saying. The Speaker of the House and the Democratic leader are continuing to say our way or the highway with a massive wish list for left-wing lobbyists that slopped together a few weeks ago called a coronavirus bill. Stimulus checks for illegal immigrants. Diversity studies for the legal pot industry. And on and on. When they put out this proposal, even the media and their fellow Democrats pronounced this thing dead on arrival. Here was one reporter, quote, neither this bill nor anything resembling it will ever become law. It's a Democratic wish list filled up with all the party's favored policies. <clears throat> and remember how Speaker Pelosi's own members felt about this absurd proposal, quote, privately, several House members concede their latest bill feels like little more than an effort to appease the most liberal members of the caucus. <clears throat> Even Democrats knew Speaker Pelosi's bill was unserious. But now, with the additional unemployment benefit disappearing, with families still struggling, they're going back to this unserious position and refusing to budge. I can't imagine this is how Democratic colleagues really all want this to play out. In March, we built the CARES Act by Republicans and Democrats working together at the committee level. <clears throat> this time again, Republicans introduced a serious proposal that was written by our own chairman and our own members. But this time, the Democratic leader has cut Senate Democrats out entirely. He's forbidden their committees from even talking to Republicans. He's digging in on a House messaging bill written with no input from his own members that even House Democrats themselves called absurd. These are not the tactics that would build a bipartisan result. These are not the tactics that will get more cash in Americans' pockets, more help to the unemployed, more assistance for schools to reopen. It's time for the Democratic leadership to get serious about making a law making a law for the American people. 